Greetings, Beaverkin, and welcome back to Timberborn. I always say greetings because I always remember I want to say Beaverkin, but then sometimes I forget and it just, never mind. Sorry, I'm just being goofy right now. Greetings, Beaverkin, and welcome back to Timberborn. We are in our favorite beavery game. Woo! Um, yeah, and we're doing stuff. So some of you might have picked up that I'm getting kind of like, hmm, what else is there to do on this map? Uh, and I, yes, this is true. I am feeling this. I really would love to get this working though. This mechanical water pump, uh, if we can. So I'm going to try to like hustle this and see, Just wait, do we have everything for this? Wait, we actually have materials for this. So treated planks were a bit short on, but those are being made, I think. And they are made in the same area in the same city so that's fine now i would like to get these observatories working but that means the other observatories need to work as well because we have well this also is highly important for that particular procedure let's go ahead and uh prioritize this stuff but yeah i'm kind of feeling like you know whenever a map gets to the point of like there's no more challenge it just feels like hey like repeating the same stuff over and over again i guess i don't know we had this idea of going up to the waterfalls but basically that's just building districts toward there but there is another map by somebody that made this map uh with with some of my input and i am so thankful because the map is you know the word glorious? It really is glorious. I'm not joking. So I kind of want to play that map really very much. It is a map made by Sweet Butter and it is linked in my Discord. So if you want to check it out before we check it out here, feel free. Um, but it is like beautiful and glorious and amazing. And I've seen some other people make challenge maps as in, Hey, look at my challenge. I've built squares and sort of checkerboards all over the place. And I'm like, that's not real. And it's not like pretty or interesting, or it's very like artificial looking. And I don't like those kind of maps. So if you design those, then feel free to play them, but I won't play them if they look like that. Just fair warning. I want this to be built as well. Uh, I want everything built, but nobody's building stuff. I hope we're getting more logs. I do feel like we're a bit short, but I guess they're building stuff. I would love to see, like if I click on one of these places, they have eight people working here. I would love to see them actually highlighted on this, uh, on the map here. Wait, where do we have zero unemployed? Hello? Okay, we need more, we actually need more housing in Snacktopia. Someone was meowing at me like, oh my God, you have too many unemployed beavers. And I'm like, well, you know, I can feed them all. So it's okay, don't worry. Don't just chill, chill out, please. Feel free to chill out. Is okay, you can chill. All right, housing, let's go with some housing here. Rotate, okay, and here, maybe, no, wait, let's do the other one, this one, like that, so that we can put in a road. This is the entrance, okay, that's okay, that's not what I wanted, but it's a fine, it's a fine, and we put a platform there to have access via this roadway. That is more perfect. Now then, let's build a little bit more housing. That seems okay. Or maybe we do something like this instead. We can do this. And then we have a double height thingy-majingy right here. And how does that work? Hmm. Thinking of like stairway down this way or something like that. Do, do, do. Hmm. 
Okay, and this one goes this way. So if we kind of do a, maybe we do a tiny bridge here. That might look good. Yeah, like there, that's cool. Maybe these can also be tiny bridges as well. I was thinking about that. I'm like, eh, nah, let's not mess with it. But I'm like, yeah, let's mess with it. Hold on. This could be cool looking, could be fun. That one, actually, this one won't work. Okay, we have to have a platform here instead. And then these have to be gotten to as well. Now, but how does that road connect? And here, of course, we can also do some more houses here. Like this. And that one can actually be here if we put a platform down there. Seems good. No, wait, <gasps> no, we'll have to be here because of the, oh, don't do that thing. No, I don't want you there, nigh. Oh my God, I just realized the icons actually show the side of the house the entrance is on. That is very clever, I like it. Okay, so now we have the ability to go behind with a road, but do we wanna do this? I don't know, maybe. It does feel like a bit of a waste. Maybe we should go around and have like a tiny courtyard here. Or alternatively, we could keep on building it up with crazy housing like this, because this has a second floor entrance like there. And that might be interesting or might be good or might be something like that. Or alternatively, we can rotate this one that way as well. Oh, how did you get over here? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay, what's what's there? If I remove these stairs, I think Beaver can get out. All right, go go home, Beaver. Go home, little Beaver. Anji, I'll pat you. Oh. Wish I could put a blanket on Angie. Oh, hunger, thirst, sad times. Oh no. All right, let's figure out this thing as well. We're gonna have to build no new stairs, but hopefully Angie will escape before we get those stairs underway. Let's ro rotate that. Okay, so do we have a, a road here? Maybe, could be kind of okay, could be interesting. I don't know, I like interesting buildings. I really do, They are they make me happy. I don't like like blocks of stuff. I find that extremely boring. Like, no, I cannot be asked to deal with boring stuff. It's just horrible. And then here we could have another house on top here, or maybe we don't. Maybe we have something like statues here. I do like the idea of having more like monuments and stuff and um, decorations. Love them decorations, yeah. Could have one right up here. That might be quite cool. Of course we could just have them everywhere. That's another thing we could do. Do we want a fence? Yeah, let's buy fences. Let's just buy those. I feel like we have nothing much to do else on this map. It's very like, okay, kind of done. Kind of what's gonna happen next. Kind of bored with this map. I mean, we had a good challenge initially, but now we have all the spinning things happening all the time and it's good. Okay, so we still are looking at those treated planks. Do we need another place? We need pine resin. Oh, wow, we have problems now. We have no pine resin there. That's our big biggest issue. All right, let's tr uh, transport some pine resin to there. Oh, we needed this. Uh, we needed it. Look at this. Okay, so let's transport pine resin. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want to send a trade route. Go. I mean, don't send a trade route. Create a trade route to have things moved. All right, pine resin. Okay, so let's see here. Pine resin. Is it on here? Probably. Should be. Hello? Where are you? Let's do 50 or let's do 25. That's the most load a beaver can carry of normal goods. Well, anything besides logs, I should say. Okay, so they're doing, you know what? I'm also gonna send logs there. Logs. 
because why not? We can, you know, hire more people. Uh, so we're going to get these houses built. That's important. And I feel like we probably need more hauling posts. Uh, and the reason for that, of course, is all of these trading posts. We really need to get stuff where it needs to go. So I'm going to build a couple more hauling posts. I, I feel like I'm very lax on that. I should build more of them. They really are quite important and I don't have enough of them. I know that. Though, of course, we have a lot of um, loggers that don't have uh, things to do because like our log places are filled to the brim right now. I'm going to unpause this as well so that beavers can do stuff. All right. Now, I have forgotten kind of to get into our lore for today. So let's go with that. I did have a very irate message from someone. So I want to read that because it's quite funny. This is from the Duke Abides. Dear KOS, as an upstanding member of the beaver community, I thought your comment about, quote, the size of my acorns could be, well, beaver shaming. I intend to speak to the medic Zemduza to confirm that my acorns are of at least average size. My fur is bristling with indignation at such casual besmirchment of my uh, acorns. I am very sorry, the Duke Abides. I did not mean it in that way at all. I, I was not meaning to, I was not even meaning to talk about your acorns. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> so anyway, we apologize for the accidental besmirchment. Um, we also have a note from the Curious Beaver. Thank you, Curious Beaver, for writing in. A note to Terrence, I welcome the leadership as I have put a lot of time studying mining and the safety measures that go along with surviving down in the mines. It is harrowing because there are dangers of cave-ins and other dangers like that down in the mines. I think it would be a good idea to get together and talk about this in as safely in as safety in the mines is of utmost importance. I'm glad that I've been studying the methods of mining and figuring out the best way to get the ores out of the ground in the safest way possible and what is necessary uh, to do so without injury or loss of life. I have sent a note to Terence about this and hope to talk to him as soon as possible at length on this subject. On a side note, I like the maple trees that are being produced, oh, maple treats that are being produced, but know to eat them in small quantities and not go overboard with them. Yeah, I bet they would make your tummy ill. Having them packed in each miner's pack just in case of cavens is a must because it will help the trapped miners survive, something like that. I will also talk to Terence about training the workers in safety and what to do in certain situations so they can conserve their strength and hopefully be rescued in such an event. Excerpt from the Diary of a Curious Beaver. Now, I am so delighted with uh, this, the Curious Beaver's entries. They have provided us much, um, much entertainment and much interest for all of the things. So it's pretty cool. All right. So beehives are happening over here. I bet we have no paper. I think we have zero paper in this place. Let's find out. I think we need to, let's get paper 25. Okay. Let me just send stuff there to Tater Hollow. Yeah. Add a new route. Let's go add a new route to here. Paper. There we go. Okay. I think we can discontinue the, probably the wood well, they don't actually have any wood. Um, we can discontinue the water for sure because they have these water pumping stations. Uh, though they don't actually have a... Oh, they don't have a water tank yet. Um, let's add a new route here though for gears so they can build their own. Uh, because that's what we need here, I think. Oh, that's a grist mill. Here's, here's their thing. They need gears 20. So let's make sure that they can receive gears. Here's 25. Perfect. Okay. That's fine. That's good. Good is happening. All the good is, is all happening right now. You can tell. All right. They have no gears because they have no wood because they have no planks. I mean, well, planks don't turn into wood. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I feel like we should stop speaking right there. This might be an okay place to farm wood. You know what? Let's, let's do that. Let's make them a, a lumberjackery over here. I know that probably sounds very strange, but I think we're going to go with it because silly is also wonderful. Yes. Okay. So let's have a couple of things for wood collection there. Um, do we want to have, I guess we have to have a 
wood collection post here. Log pile. That's a word. Yes. Okay, let's put that here. That's good, actually. Okay, and so here we want to have two lumberjack flags and then one forestry place. Yep, we need one platform. Oh, that doesn't work. Nice. Okay, this will work though. If we move that and change it to over here land. Yay. Okay. And then we decide to plant all the things here, which include mostly maples. Hello? Maple. Maples. There we go. Good. All right. There we are. Happy days are here again. Well, maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully it's a thing. This area I would use for storage, but you have to cut across all these trees to get there, which is not convenient. But do we, did we cancel the logs? I think we canceled the log deliveries. Ugh. I think we should implement some log deliveries from here. Let's go and send some people over here for logs. Okay, logs. Because they have tons even though it's kind of a far distance to travel, it's going to help them somewhat at least. So let's go. Let's go. All right, good. Seems good. Okay, so we have tons of food. How much food do we have in each section? I want to make sure we have only, wow, we have very little food in Beaver Dancington. So that's not ideal. We do have tons of wheat. Do we have a grist mill here? Yet? Hello? Not yet. All right. This also needs to be built on priority. But this is higher priority. Let's see. How far are they? Well, actually, this one doesn't matter because they just need those treated planks. And that is basically a function of the pine resin and planks. So let's see. What we can do is build a wood workshop here somewhere. Uh, or in, basically in a place that does have some road access. Let's see. Here it's green. So what we can do is maybe we build them down here. And just... Oh, this is hard. No, it's not hard. It's fine. It's fine. Look what we did. Yar. There we go. Boom. Beautiful. Now then, let's build some of these. Okay, we're going to build the whole thingy there. Those are threes. Okay, that's fine. Nope. Okay, there we go. Boom. Beautiful. So this will give us room for wood workshops. Let's do that. Wood workshop. Rotate. And then we can ship those there as well. Oh, wow, we need more platforms there, too. Okay, very good. Very, very, very good. Hooray! Because I think Beaver, I mean, Snacktopia, I think they have tons of stuff. Let's see, they have 42 planks that they can convert. They also don't have to send the resin over. This will be easier in many ways. So what that means is we can get this thing and send them some treated planks for all the things they need it for. And I've completely forgot what they need it for, but I'm sure it's something useful. Oh, I think it's this machine. That's right. Okay, so treated planks. Let's do 20. Next time, I am just going to put every single item at 25. You know what we need for this UI? We need a set everything to X number. That would be amazing. I think we need that, definitely. Wait, but question mark. Do we want to have some storage underneath these? Probably. Or at least under this one, maybe. I think this one is on the wrong side of the road. So I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Probably not. Okay, let's just delete stuff. Sorry, I keep forgetting. Oh, God. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, 
Um, what we do need to do is make this flat. So let's see, one, two, three, that's fine. Uh, well, technically not. Uh, I'll just fill it in anyway. Okay, and then we'll get our storage. So we'll have a small warehouse on this side, which is should be fine. Why is that yelling? Hello? Oh, gosh, this is the wrong height. Whoops. From the top, it looks really different. Okay. Looks like it could kind of be that correct height. There we go. That's better. And small warehouse. Always good to conserve warehouse space. That's kind of important. And that means we also need to delete this one so that we can have a road coming out here, which is going to be, I think, the two height. Yes. And then one on top, which is just fine. And then there. Okay. Very good. Now then, we get the wood workshops and, of course, a little bit of extra platform action right in there. I love this game's verticality. I think it's pretty awesome. Like, really good. It's really, really good. Now then, we can do a, a thing here and here. And then one here. So that way we can just go into that warehouse. Good stuff. Okay, yay. And, oh, we do need to change one thing. Or not, we don't have to change it actually. We can just put it underneath. If we go down, see it's there. Uh, we're going to have these warehouses here. So we need to put in one thing of power here. Power shaft like right here. And maybe I will make it a four way just in case we need to route power. Oh, actually power is going that way. It's fine. We'll just put this one right in here. So not there. Hold on. One, two, three, four. So it has to be there. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Because it has to connect to the warehouse rather than just underneath the uh, the pathways. All right, so how are we doing over here? Here we are looking for treated planks. Wow, we just don't have any. Are we moving them anywhere? Please, no? Okay, good. We are not, but we need trees. Dang it, trees, where are you? All right, and this is of course not getting built because we have no planks, because we have no other stuff. We have no trees, oh no. I think I have really failed in the whole like gathering or distribution of trees. I feel like that's a bad thing. What I could do is do one of those flippy road things. The problem with this map and the flippy road thing is like we don't have enough good real estate for that. I guess I could make a box underwater or take the water out of it. But I feel like that's such an ugly, messy solution. I don't like it at all. It's like, no help. All right, folks, let's go. So we're in the middle of the drought season. We're only relying on our wind mines to get stuff or otherwise known as cloud exercise machines because I love that term. It's great. Let's see, we have explosives there. Maybe we should also make explosives here as well in this city. How many do we have altogether? Do we have any? We have 122. That seems like a lot. Do we have any distributed to... No, we don't. That's surprising to me. All right, so we need to send some back to the motherland here. Let us put in... I don't think we have any receiving posts, but I'm going to put one in right over here. Let's see. Labor. Yes, drop off point. Let's have it right here. Okay, so from here, we are going to distribute some explosives. There we go. Because I think we need some. There we go. Yes. And then let's just make sure our things are set. I don't think we've set them at all, have we? All right, I'm just going to put 25 in everything. Okay, go, 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 go. All 
I really wish they would change this UI because it's like so confusing. I, I get questions almost every day about like, are you sure the limits are like that? And I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. I really am sure. Okay, we need more people for these labor shacks here, hauling posts. Um, we probably could remove some people off the distribution centers, but we have lots of housing. Okay, so they're just, they just haven't filled out the housing yet. That's okay. So wait, what is going on here? Hello? Oh, wait, how did that happen? We did something very bad here. Um, let me just find out where the entrance is to this shack. Oh no! Oh no, this is not good. All right, I feel like this needs to be deleted or something. It needs to be turned around. Um, but we are going to have to delete some other stuff before that happens. All right, so let's just delete the things on top. I feel that that is necessary. Yes, sorry. Um, huh. I think that was supposed to go maybe have a path here. Or something. We could make it curly though. Not sure where where that one had a path. Was it the opposite side? I don't even remember. We need this one actually. Let's see. Here we go. And then we'll make a curly path and life will be better. Yay. Okay, here we go. Do this, 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 and except not that. We want to have a bridgy bridgy. Which is important importanty. There we go. Yay. Can we put stuff under there? Like, I wonder if we can put a statue there. Can we? <gasps> no, not quite. Not quite. But we can have, maybe we put a scarecrow there. I don't know. Um, or a plant. Let's put a plant, I guess is fine. All right. So here, now we have a new problem, which is great because we like problems. Problems mean we need to find solutions. And I love curly, crazy stuff like this and extra bridges. Yay, underpass. We love this. It's great. Makes it look fun. We like fun. Okay, this thing is merrily rolling along. Now we're at 29 of 50. I'm really hoping to finish this by the time the episode ends. Let me go ahead and prioritize this section for our beavers to build. I think they already are, but... God, I'm using like the shortcut keys for noble fates. If you like colony builders and like wackiness and weirdness, I highly recommend you watch my series on noble fates. It's a really funky, weird game. And um, I have learned some things since I started, by the way, that you don't have to like completely convert people to love, you know, you before you ask them to join. They just have to like you. So that has changed my opinion on the conversational system a little bit, but I still don't like it. And uh, yeah, anyway, that's a thing. So, all right, so what is going on here, people? Please build. I think they just they just don't have wood and they're like, KOS, sweet KOS, we cannot build. We're trying, we have no logs, sad times are here again. So yeah, we have multiple issues happening here. All right, do we have power? Not yet. Okay, this is almost done though. We just need one gear. And that should happen. We have gears, but we have, what do we not have? Hello? What? There's no paths. Oh, because of this. Yeah. All right. So let's also make that happen. What are you lacking? You're lacking gears. Needs power. Ah, yes, because it has no power. That's right. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Oh dear. Sigh. All right. We're having a sigh. It's fine though. We'll, we'll just have a tiny sigh and then we'll be back to normal again. Meanwhile, back in Snacktopia, things are merrily running along. It looks like we're making tons of treated planks because we have like no planks left or we're making something that requires a lot of planks. I don't remember what we're making that requires planks. Is it the monument or did we finish that? I can't remember. Um, no, the monument's done. Flame of Progress is here. The other monument, however, Holy fuzzy beavers, 400 planks. Okay, well, I guess we're done with that though. That's fine. Now here, we also have the issue of nothing to do and stuff not built. So that's a beautiful structure that needs to be completed. But yeah, we are we are lacking in logs and that, that is very sad to me because we should have millions of logs. They are building this, that's nice. Okay, cool. 
But yeah, trees glow, gr trees glow slowly. Yes, they do. They glow very slowly. We also need this to happen. Did we send dynamite over there? I don't remember. I don't think we did. I think we need to though. Dynamite to Tater Hollow. Let's go. Um, There it is. Go. Now I think in Tater Hollow, I think we only want to have like two dynamite or something like that. We don't really need a ton. Five is enough. Yes, that seems good. Okay, this can be exploded. I don't know if we need to explode it though. <laughs> That's the problem. I think it was going to put a warehouse down here so that we could put something on top. That was the idea. But I'm feeling like I would love to have that here instead. Like, no, can we just... Can I get this back, please? Can you just dismantle this? I feel like some young beavers are going to try to look and see, oh my gosh, what is this fun new red thing? And then they're going to die. And it's like, oh no, don't die. Don't die. Do not. Building needs water. Which one? Oh, this one. Okay, well, that's fine. It's okay, though. It'll get water in the, the wet times. Wait, that sounds completely wrong. All right. Doing okay, though. Things are going okay. But yeah, I think it's better. Maybe I should have started a more extensive forest area initially in these places. Because I think that's what's really slowing us down is the lack of trees. And like here, they're only sharing like a half a forest or something. So that's not good. How's this going? Okay, so now we have what? Do we have anything? They need power. Why do we not have power? Hello? Oh, it's because the wind mines aren't working. Okay, that's bad. I want this thing to work. Go. It's at 36 though. That's good. It's like slowly going upward. This is fantastic. However, it's not going to make it before the wet season. So we won't really get to see what it does, unfortunately. I also don't know if this is like too close to a dam area where... It's going to pump, but it might flow back out. However, I'm hoping it would just go around. But maybe that's not a thing. I do have an idea. So there is a way to make a perpetual water machine. Perpetual motion machine that drives uh, water wheels. And I'm thinking about building that on the next map. Because it seems like a fun, interesting thing to do. So we might do that. Because I'm feeling like we're kind of like have reached the peak of our excitingness in this map here. Come on, gears. Let's go, go, go. They get a gear. Give them a gear. I want those. I want those science places to operate even though we don't need them. <laughs> we have everything researched already. So this kind of makes me think that. Oh, wait, we don't have everything apparently. Printing press. All right. I feel like some of the things really come way too late. Like the observatories feel like they come kind of late and you only get to use them for a very short time until you have everything researched. Uh, the mine, so far we're not even close to needing more mining stuff. Look at how much metal we have in this place. This is just like nuts. Nuts amounts of stuff. Okay, beavers working hard here. Mm. These, I'm surprised these aren't built yet. This is really crazy that this isn't done. But we're needing, oh, we need gears and we have no power. Well, we didn't have power yesterday. We have three gear workshops here. Do we have a fourth? Yeah, we do have this one. That We do have a fourth gear workshop, so that's good. That's very good. But we're sending planks everywhere, so I was thinking about, like, maybe we delete one of these plank workshops here and replace it with a gear one, but I'm like, eh, I don't know. I think it's okay. I think we're doing all right. All right, folks, let's go. I guess if we really wanted to, we could just, like, pause the observatories um, because they need a lot of power. Let's see, they need 200 horsepower. So that's, it's still a lot. Actually, oh, wait, what's going on here? 
Holy fuzzy beavers. No, this is bad. All right, we need to get those done pronto. I forgot that we were adding those wind mines and therefore needed to replace some of these gears. Oh, I shouldn't forget like that. You know, you say that, but it's like, huh, how are you going to control your forgetting, you know? And there's, I wish there was like something like to-do list in this game, like in uh, Factorio. You can get that mod that I really love. I think that should be vanilla. How is it not um, vanilla to have like a notepad where you can write things down for yourself? I, I would love to see that in every single game I play, like literally every game. Because it is like when you have like complicated strategy stuff, of course, you're going to have to have work processes and this has to finish before that. And it's like, why don't we have it there? Maybe a better solution for this, though, would be build the thing and then press pause. And then it's like, oh, why are there pause signs over there? That would, I guess, remind you. But still, I would love to have like a notepad kind of thing in every single game I play pretty much, except the most casual games, maybe. Well, even some of those, like you have plans for the future. So why not? Oh, wow. They build, they build the beehive that is over no crops. I don't get that at all. All right, let's just do here and here and carrots, please. Yes. Okay. Dynamite. Finally go. Boom. Kaboom. All right. Now we can build our water dump. Hooray. All right, so let's upgrade this in priority. And how many, what do we got here? We have zero unemployed. I think we need to build one or two of these houses because I feel like we're probably lacking in workers there. Let's see, how's food going over here? 240 food in Beaver Dancington, so yay. Uh, that's good, that's really good. Oh, no power. So frustrating, it's like, no, help. All right, 41 of 50, and water is going to come soon, so it doesn't matter anyway. So, sad times. All right, I'm going to go ahead and build or put in... Oh, actually, here's our dynamite, so yay. Let's detonate these. So that means we can put in our other water pumps. The mechanical pumps. So, rotate. Why does that not work? There it is. Okay. Make sure to get stuff on the correct side. So three should be enough to generate a little bit of force, I would think, to go down here. I've never thought about doing this, like, right over a bridge where people walk. Uh, but we'll see how it works. We'll see. This looks interesting. But yeah, this one is on high priority, so they're getting there, but yeah, just not enough. And these, what the heck happened here, beavers? Like, what's going on? Why haven't you built this yet? Oh, it's the gears. That's right. I forgot. Sorry, beavers. I forget. I'm good at forgetting things. So, yeah. But yeah, they require massive amounts of them as well. 40 gears per each wood workshop. That's nuts amounts, like tons. All right. But these are working. That's good. So we have some gears being made over here. I do feel like we need another gear maker in this town. So I'm going to make one. Uh, There we go. And we certainly can afford it with the power that we're generating. How's this going? Oh, hey, we got people working. Not yet. Almost. Okay, and we also need to make a tree cutting zone here. I'm surprised. Oh, well, there's no workers, so they can't complain, I think. That's the idea there. Oh, no, no. All right, I'm going to pause the game. The tree cutting thing, for whatever reason, it just, like completely tanks the frame rate and I don't know why. So let's get out of this. Now we go. Okay, perfect. Better, better. So how, how is this going? We have eight gears. That's good. This is such a tiny little island for trees. I really wish we could make like these, except they're planter boxes as in they, ha they can have soil or make like a dam area that you can then fill with soil. Maybe soil should be a resource that you can kind of move around. So instead of dynamite, you dig it out. Because like on maps like this, the lack of soil is a bit, yeah, not great. Especially like between the colonies. But I guess that's my own fault for planning badly. 
I probably should have had part of this area as a lumber dump where I can just switch the roads around and build more of the industry, all of this stuff on the water. But when we started this, it was because we had a lack of planks and a lack of power to create the planks and all that stuff. But look at us generating 10,000 hamster powers. That is a lot of hamsters, like lots and lots of hamsters. So let's see. Yep, we're all in the same network. That's a good thing now. Finally, everything's joined up. Wind mines are working. Hooray. 13,000. Wow. That's tons. That's just tons and tons, ain't it? Ain't it? Okay, beavers are going along this roadway. They love it. Well, or they find it very convenient either way. <laughs> Something's happening there. I'm actually really liking this idea of having warehouses on a lower level and then putting the things on top and you can connect the power underneath the roadways. That is so handy. It's kind of great. Wait, what are we putting in here? I think we want to put in treated planks in that warehouse that I can't see. Uh, did they build it though? I think they did. Hello? There it is. Okay. So none, none. We're going to have treated planks in this one, even though it's almost full. Sad times. All right. And this one also is going to be none. What are they putting in here? Explosives, grilled potatoes, grilled... What? Maple syrup, pine resin. I don't know what this is going to be. This is supposed to be probably just something that's related here. But I think we have pine resin and, well, I guess we could put pine resin in there. I don't know if we have a storage for that specifically. All right, so we'll just open that up there so they can store stuff in there. I don't know if I should connect these with a path or if that's not necessary. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, they finally got this thing done. So I could actually put the path down there. Let me go ahead and detonate it and make a path down there where I intended to. Like here, this is where I was going to intend them to go. This actually, I wonder if they would be able to walk there now from the, the city center. Let's see. Where is the city center? I can't see. So weird, like when you're trying to look for something upside down, it's like, hey, I wonder. wonder if that works. So no, they probably wouldn't because it ends right before the city gate. So yeah. All right, cool. Well, we found that out at least and a uh, good move to kind of put these other buildings in the new place. All right, come on, folks, get your gears going, get things happening. Okay. So that one's on slight priority. That's good. All right. How's this going? We're at 50. They just haven't built it yet. Come on, folks, before. No, it's still, it's raining now. We're raining. Well, not raining, but yeah, we're water block producing. It's a thing. It's a shame they just didn't build it while they were there. Oh, wait, we, we need gears. We're short of gears. I never noticed that. Whoops. Okay, well, I guess we're short of gears. We really need a ton then. Let me go ahead and prioritize this gear thing here. Because that's important. Yep. Just making sure the legs were working there. I'm going to go ahead and change the threshold of gears here to less. Uh, so there's like, I don't know, f 10 or something. Because I don't think they're going to deliver more than 10 at a time anyway. But I also don't want them to have a huge excess. But even as they're like... so. If you're building a building like this, these 13 gears don't count against the amount that's in the colony because it's already been allocated to a building. So, yeah, that's a good thing. Wow, I didn't, I never saw this number. I don't know why I thought this was completed. Maybe it was at zero or something. I have no idea. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm really kind of eager to move on. Um, but maybe we could stay another season if you want to see how, if this pump thing would work. I think we can probably finish by the next dry season. But let me know what you think in the comments, please. I'm very curious as to what um, you have ideas about. Uh, also, also uh, check out the map by Sweet Butter. 
And also, um, yeah, let me know if you think that um, we should move. Or send, send intrepid explorers off to the new lands of the Rift and the Great Waterfall. So, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.